hello everyone uh, this video uh, demonstrates uh, docker multi-host networking uh, so this became production ready in docker 1.9 release um, so before we get started with the demo uh, brief uh, information about my environment itself so i have a windows laptop on which i am running ubuntu uh, linux using vmware uh, player uh, on top of which i'm going to uh, launch my docker machines uh, using VirtualBox uh, uh, hypervisor. So the reason I had to do this was uh, VirtualBox doesn't support VM within a VM for at least for a 64-bit environment. Uh, so that's why I've used uh, VMware uh, player initially. Okay, so let's look at, uh, so I've already started, uh, you know, three hosts. Uh, so let's look at the three hosts uh, that are running. So uh, this is pretty much uh, the environment itself in terms of how this application is going to be launched. Uh, so we have uh, Compose, which is going to read a multi-container uh, you know, uh, uh, manifest file. Uh, and we're going to run two applications, one WordPress application with a WordPress and a MySQL container and another counter application uh, with, you know, with a MongoDB and a web uh, container and Swarm will be used for orchestrating the container across the two hosts here. Uh, and console will be used for as a shared uh, storage. Uh, to uh, start the, uh, you know, the three Docker machines, uh, the first uh, step is uh, like here. Okay, so this pretty much creates the uh, key store uh, machine. Uh, and uh, then we uh, launch the console container. Uh, so th and then uh, we launch the two machines. So this is the first machine where we you know keep it as a swarm master and point it to a console store. And then one more machine we keep it as a swarm agent and we also point that to a console store. Okay, now that we have uh, the three machines uh, running, so let's look at uh, in the machine one. Uh, so we see uh, it has the uh, console container running. And in machine two, uh, we see uh, you know the swarm agent, and then this is the swarm manager. These are the two containers running. And then on machine three, uh, so we have the swarm agent that is running. The advantage with swarm is pretty much all the uh, Docker commands uh, uh, kind of work natively. So uh, to show that, let's first uh, set the environment to the uh, uh, the node zero, which is a swarm master. So here, if we do a Docker info, we pretty much see the complete cluster state here. So it says, okay, there are three containers in the cluster. Uh, there are two nodes in the cluster, which is MHS uh, demo zero and uh, uh, the MHS demo one. You know, it shows how many containers are running, what is the CPU memory for each container. Uh, so pretty much it gives the, you know, the complete information about, uh, you know, the, all the three uh, all the two hosts that are part of the cluster. Okay, so first let's start the uh, counter application. So let's look at what this application is composed of. So it has uh, one web container, one Mongo container, and this is the container image. So th this specifies where is the DB residing. And this constraint here uh, specifies that this particular container has to run on a demo zero node. And this is basically, you know, what port we expose from this container with a port mapping. Port 5000 is exposed in the local host as port 80. Okay, so now let's start this application. So this is the command we use to start the application. So here we are saying Docker Compose, use the overlay networking, use the network driver as overlay, and we specify the project name and we, you know, start this. So basically this creates two containers. Uh, one is the web container, now it's Mongo container. So now uh, let's look at the nodes if the container got created. So here, this is the node zero. So this has the uh, the, Mongo, the web container that is running here. And uh, let's look at node one. So this has the uh, Mongo container running. Uh, now let's, let's test the application. So since port 80 is exposed here, uh, yeah, we can directly access the application. We see the counter incrementing. Okay, so next application we'll do is the WordPress application. So let's look at the compose file for here. 
So here we specify a MySQL container with a password here. And then the WordPress container where we specify the DV host and uh, the DV password. And here we have exposed uh, port 8000. So to start this, we do very similar to what we did earlier. Uh, so this creates the WordPress container and the MySQL container. Now we can, once it is done, so we can go to the individual host and we can check. Here we see the MySQL container that is started on host 1. And on here we have the WordPress container that is started on uh, the host 2. And we can also look at the uh, network to see uh, the two uh, networks that got created. One for the uh, counter application, another for the WordPress application. Okay, so to check the WordPress application, so here, uh, we, this is the uh, host where the WordPress container is running. So let's check the IP address here. Uh, so 99.102. So let's check and that is port 8000 is exposed here. So we go to 99.102 and port 8000 and this should open up the, uh, the WordPress main page. Yes, so this seems to be working. Okay, the last step is, uh, you know, uh, killing the application itself. So let's stop the WordPress application and after that we'll also stop the counter application so after this is stopped we can look at the uh, running containers itself so here uh, so we don't see any we only see the swarm containers and uh, same here. Uh, thanks for watching.